Good morning. I just got a very exciting text message from one of my coworkers, and I do not have to work today. It was <laughs> down to the wire. Like, I think he texted me at like just after 11. Down to the wire of whether I was going to have to go in this afternoon or not, but I don't have to, and I am so excited. I also kind of like just woke up because <laughs> I knew I wouldn't have to go in before like 2-ish, so I was like, we're going to sleep in because I've not been I wouldn't say I haven't been sleeping great lately. I've just been getting up early and staying up a little bit too late, but you know what? That's fine. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Anyways, yes, yesterday was a extremely busy day. I had a split shift at work, so I went in the morning, worked until 12. I was training my summer replacement, and then I went in again at what time? Like 2, 2.30 I think I went in, and I was there till six and then i came oh microphone come on and then i came home and it was dinner but while dinner was cooking i i cut these scrunchy tags i still don't think i have enough i mean obviously i need to finish cutting these um but i think i'm getting close i think i have like 45 sheets here um i think i need 60 total so we're getting close i am gonna have to go buy more of this paper <laughs> before um, I finished those, and also I need to test print the tags that I designed again today. I redesigned them with the resolution super bumped up. I think that was the issue. I mentioned the other day it was at like 72 uh, pixels per inch, and I bumped it up to like three or 400. I can't remember which, so fingers crossed that was the issue. I also made sure to save it as a PDF so I can make sure the margins are good, so fingers crossed fingers crossed today i'm going to work on the last of the things that i want to so <laughs> i know i said that i was done sewing oh i'm li maybe lying a bit anyways i've got till sunday that was the plan i have this last cotton pad that i want to make so i can have one more set of the mixed cacti um i decided to cut two more of these bandanas because these that little this is the size that I'm giving to Strudel and Millie, and so I was like, you know what, I want to have some that I can actually sell in the store. And then my breakfast buddy I mentioned, I think in the last vlog, I showed her the fabric that I got, which she loved, and so she wanted a mask. So I cut, and I sewed masks last night, and I was clearly too tired to function because I sewed this to the lining, and I did that for, I'm making four masks, I did that for three of them before I realized, eh, I didn't sew the nose piece in, so I had to stitch rip it all. It was it was not a great day for brain power yesterday when I was leaving the theater last night. I put in the first number on the alarm code and I was like, "Oh my god, what's the alarm code?" So that that wasn't ideal. <laughs> so I should have known something stupid was going to happen. And as I was sewing it, I was like, "I feel like I'm missing something." Yes, yes I was, but I think the plan is going to be I'm going to get dressed and probably sew those nose pieces and pin the masks together and then maybe make myself some lunch. I'm thinking chicken burgers because we had chicken burgers last night so we've got fresh buttons. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> fresh chicken burger buttons. There are any buttons, but yeah, I'm so jazzed I don't have to work today which is fantastic because I was supposed to have Thursday off and now I have Saturday off so that's good. And um, I really think I can get a lot done today. I edited it two vlogs yesterday I think so like I have I'm I'm feeling like the other day I was super productive and I feel like I finally have my feet under me which I have not had for like months I would say so woohoo I have been having an extremely slow day I don't know I don't know what it is but I have accomplished some things so the four masks are done I mean in all fairness masks do take quite a while to make so they are done, which is exciting. And I also finished the last one of these. <laughs> so I have that extra set here with the uh, different types of cacti. And then um, I, don't, I don't really know what else I've done. I mean, I ate. That took a while to cook and eat. And I just, I, I've made a mess. <laughs> which is, I mean, always the case <laughs> when I'm sewing, as we know. It also doesn't help that I didn't put my work bag away yesterday. I was just so tired, so. Later today, I think I want to cut that for scrunchies. I don't know if I have enough of the outer thread 
to make a bunch of scrunchies. We will see. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to work on editing this video because one, I'm trying to catch up, <laughs> so I'm not so far behind. And two, I definitely screwed up and edited the one preceding this um, before I edit this one because <laughs> I had uploaded or I'd put this all together and saved it and didn't edit it and so in my brain I was like it's edited it. so at least I knew something stupid like ter delete the files but that's where we're at it is currently 4 30 so like I said it has been a slow slow day I'm hoping uh hoping to get this done maybe another one we're, we're catching up still let's see how many vlogs are we behind at this point? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's better than it's been. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. I feel like I've had the most, I want to say boring, uneventful day is really what I'm going for. I am I am a color. <laughs> is that making it less? I don't know. Um, anyways, it is a 10 to 10. I did the sewing this morning. I tidied my room a fair amount, uh, which is nice. I've spent some time cutting the scrunchy tags. <laughs> I still need to test the um, other labels that I made, so fingers crossed they will work. And like I said, I probably need to pick up some more paper for that. And um, I edited it. I think I'm exporting my third vlog of the day, which is very exciting. We, I am, I am officially, let me, let me check. That one's exporting, so I'm only one, two, only three vlogs behind, which is very exciting. <sighs> it feels nice to be almost caught up. That's kind of why I was like pushing through and I'll probably set up another vlog when that one's done exporting, um, rendered and everything so I can get to it and edit it because tomorrow I should only work till noon and then I should have time to do things like um, <laughs> cut more of this, <laughs> test out the labels and edit more video, I think. So I have like one of those I don't know, paper guillotines, is that what you call it? You know, the shunk. I have one of those at home, but it's a, a small version, but at work we have a regular sized one. So I think what I'm gonna do, assuming everything goes well and I can print those labels, is I will print everything I need because besides these ones that have like the awkward lines, um, the other ones are all straight. So I think I will print what I need and then just bring them to work and then after work one day just spend like half an hour cutting everything because I think that would be super helpful and also super quick so that's the plan as of this exact moment <laughs> again assuming that the printing works properly and it's my, my new design is good otherwise I think I'm just gonna like I don't know scream <laughs> but yeah the day has not been exciting <laughs> but it has been productive and I, I think that's just as just as fine but now I think I'm going to put on these headphones and watch some YouTube and just continue continue to snippy snap these guys because there are so many and like I said I, I'm gonna have to count the scrunchies that I'm taking and how many I have of these so that'll maybe be a tomorrow job as well I don't know tomorrow I work though like I said training again but um, again, there's gonna be a lot of people in the theater, so I don't know. There'll, there'll be areas that are off limits to us again, so it should be um, just, a, just a fun experience. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is very much the next day. It's like quarter after one. <laughs> so I worked this morning and I knew I was training again, like I mentioned, so I didn't bother bringing my camera because I was like, she'll be there within like five minutes of me showing up at the theater. <laughs> and so we worked till like 10 ish. And we took a break, a very long break, because, <laughs> again, the theater 
a lot of areas were off limits to us because of dancers being in there, so avoiding people because of COVID. Um, <laughs> so we went through a lot of stuff. We have one more training shift next Monday, so not tomorrow, but the, the following week, and I think she'll be totally fine. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is when she gets there, I'm just going to hand her my set of keys. Hopefully, maybe I can hand her her own set of keys at that point because, like, guys, we still don't have keys for her. <laughs> and um, then I'm probably just going to, like, bring something to work on um, and just wander around and be accessible to her if she needs me for any questions and stuff. So it'll be, like, a very chill day, but I think it's a good necessity kind of thing because like I've been hand holding a little bit um just to make sure that she kind of understands everything that needs to be done um so the true test will be here's my keys I'm here if you need me have fun <laughs> but anyways I got like <laughs> this was really craving some bread uh, my tummy's actually hurting so I figured bread and butter would be good and um I have a birthday card that I want to mail today um Talk about amazing. Hope your birthday is filled with all your favorite stuff. That's for um, my one boss and blind channel. So <laughs> I will send that out. And I'm thinking like, I, I tried to get everybody's birthdays for blind channel so I could send cards. And I'm like, all of a sudden like, oh my God, did I miss somebody's birthday? So hopefully I didn't, but I think I might've. So I was editing a vlog and I was like, you know, it'd be great, a nap. <laughs> and so I finished editing the vlog luckily nicely greatly and um climbed into my pjs climbed into bed and just passed out for a couple hours which was obviously needed i'm feeling a lot better i'm super flush right now because i just woke up and i do this thing often where i get really flush when i wake up but i am up and i'm gonna go start i think making dinner it's quarter to seven i believe my mom's off at 7 30 so late dinner tonight Normally I try to eat before him, but I was like, whatever, we can do tacos and apparently I'll nap. But um, I also finished cutting all these last night. I have 258 total, very exciting. <laughs> um, so now it's a matter of, like I mentioned yesterday, counting my scrunchies to see how many of those I need. I do also want to do, oh frick, I have to invoice tonight. Ah! I do also want to do a test print of the other tags to just make sure we're all good uh but that'll be an after dinner thing right now like i said i'm gonna go down and start cooking the food okay so in exciting news let me open up my computer there the vlog successfully converted that was not the exciting news um but this came in the mail today so this is like elastic thread because i was trying to figure out the proper or best way to attach tags for the lanyards and for the other things. And I think the best way to do that is going to be with elastic string. I was trying to say thread and string at the same time with um, really thin elastic. Because what I can do is I can just get everything ready and like tie these onto the tags. And then when I get out there, I can just put them on after we've tagged them. Cause I think that will be for the best, but it's currently 8.20, late, late dinner, like I mentioned. And um, it is time to invoice. Invoicing should not take long. I took a look. I, I snuck a little look. I think it's gonna be two invoices So should be quick quick and they are In my cheat sheet of runs, which means I don't even have to plot them. So that is fantastic. And then um, I Think the plans for the rest of the day are going to be Test print those tags if they do test print properly, maybe just print some more mm, come up and count so I can figure out how many I don't think I need that many in the way of dog bandanas and cotton pads cotton pads I think I need 44 so two no three four sheets maybe I'll probably still need to get more paper but that's the thing I could probably do tomorrow ideally tomorrow I'd love to get more paper if I need it and a tote that I'm gonna get all the stuff in so for that, it requires me to count things today, so I kind of know exactly what I need. Like, I think I'm probably gonna need more scrunchy tags, sadly, but c'est la vie. Alrighty, so I did invoicing, which took me a whopping total of two minutes. <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't do that. And then I was thinking, because this summer I kind of want to focus more like my blind channel videos on what it's like to work and live remotely that kind of thing like I don't know what it's gonna look like <laughs> but I'm gonna do like a vlog of this is what I pack whatever and I was like you know what 
do I even have playlists from my time in Blind Channel? And I don't. So I was like, oh, I should put those together. So if anybody wants to see what I did in the summer of 2018, that's there or whatever. <laughs> Which is great. I've got summer 2018, summer 2019, fall 2018. Fall 2019 is done. I just have to do 2020 summer and then like New Year's. But I got super distracted. And I was like, oh, there's puppies in this one. Anyways, it's like quarter after 10. But in good news... I finally got my labels to print properly so you can actually read them, which is amazing. It took another redoing, so I have to, I got the um, cotton pad ones done and the wristlet ones. I've got them all printed. I ran out of paper and I have to redo all the other ones. The issue was no longer the text, which was the text and the logo were the issues. It was the logo this time, but got that sorted now. So it's a matter of getting paper and then um I gotta count things 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 so I think today at minimum I'm going before I go to bed is I'm gonna try to count all the pet bandanas that I have and um then maybe get into the scrunchies oh I gotta sneeze mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nope maybe we're okay uh so that is mm, maybe not so that is the plan so that way I at least know how many sheets I need to print when I get to it so exciting we got somewhere I think what I'm quickly gonna do because I think it's only like 35 vlogs or so I think I'm gonna make that into a playlist um because then that's done and then also maybe um oh my goodness my brain get another vlog ready to edit that's what it was that took exceptionally long I also reached out to Strudel's mom because she did um her schooling in photography and because i was looking at these vlogs that i have and the ones that i was watching were from when i still had my old camera and like some of the, like the zooming was just really grainy and bad and so i was like you know what i only have this lens this 11 by 22 or 11 to 22 millimeter i broke my 15 to 45 which i kind of want to replace and so i was letting her i was telling her like i have this one i have that one which i'll probably replace but i kind of want one with a slightly longer zoom like obviously not something up to like 200 um but something whatever and so she suggested a 24 to 70 uh so i think i'm gonna look into that i'm not gonna buy it before i go out there um because i don't even know if it would get here in time <laughs> because it is the 13th today, and at latest I leave on the 25th. I found out that I went on the 24th yesterday. My boss said it was the 25th, but I was like, mm, I don't think that's right. So I'm going to, one, email him to just confirm departure, and also to be like, I want to come in early. <laughs> I can come in on the 23rd <laughs> when you guys are in town. So <laughs> we'll see. But going to deal with that, going to do some counting, and then, I don't know. should probably start to get ready for bed soon because I do work tomorrow. Should I be packing? Absolutely. Am I starting to stress out about how much I still have left to do? Because it's, well, it's after 12, so it's the 14th. So it's like 10 days until I leave. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so I filled out my agenda. If I stick to that, it should be pretty successful. And I just start writing packing lists um, <laughs> and panicking because I can't find my like thermocell bug repellent thing, which is the thing that keeps me from getting eaten alive in the summer. And I have no idea where it is, but... I'm sure I'll find it, but I'm starting to panic. So it's going to be a very pr busy, busy, we're not gonna say productive, it's just busy uh, week here. I work, I only work Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week, thankfully. So I have Tuesday, Thursday off, I have Saturday, Sunday off, and then I have Tuesday again off. So we should be okay. <laughs> just, just a little panicked. <laughs> I'm planning to finish the last of the sewing that I need to do tomorrow. I was supposed to finish it today, but I didn't. And technically I finished everything I planned to do. It's the scrunchies that my breakfast buddy wants because <laughs> I made the masks, but I'll make scrunchies so she can have one, buy one. And then I want to go to Walmart tomorrow to get a tote for all my store stuff. I counted it all so I know how many tags I need. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna attach any of the tags here. I will just attach them in blind channel because like I have so many scrunchies that I'm bringing and the likelihood of 
actually selling out is very low. Um, so why put tags on everything? I'll just put tags on as I need to. Plus I'll have Miss Sharon to help me out with that stuff. Love her. Love her. <laughs> I actually reached out to her. We've been emailing back and forth for the last couple weeks and I was like, I see you're in town tomorrow. Do you want to get together for coffee? So that'd be nice. <laughs> Do I have the time? No. Would I make the time? Absolutely. So yeah, tomorrow cut scrunchies, work on scrunchies, finish them hopefully the next day. Need to get my totes from storage on Tuesday. They also have my bags, whatever the heck they're called. Bags, vacuum bags. And I wrote a massive, this is my, my clothing list. It's huge. I'll probably trim it down as I go, but that's what it's at for now. And then also like put my sewing machine away at that point like t on Tuesday all the sewing stuff it just needs to skedaddle because I need space Oh, I just thought of something else. I want to bring it just doesn't stop <laughs> Three pages they aren't all full of course, but I have three pages. I want to bring um Resistance bands because in the event that I choose to work out because I got fat. I mean I was already fat I just got more fat <laughs> Okay, that is on the list. I just keep writing things down as I remember them. I also need to oil my boots before I go back out. So there's just like a million things to do. Also, laptop like is still being a jerk, just constantly turning off when I leave it alone for two seconds, which I love because if you remember last summer, my power cord decided it didn't want to work anymore for my laptop. So I had to get one out to blind channel like I couldn't do anything like I couldn't edit I couldn't do invoicing it was just a disaster so hopefully it's not gonna be a jerk again this year so yeah Tuesday is a day off so it's gonna be packing up all the stuff that people are buying from me that I need to send and then sewing stuff away like I said Wednesday gonna start getting collecting the stuff for my list also start transferring footage off of my or transferring stuff off of my laptop to, because right now it's only got like 70 gigs free, which I need more than that, and I don't understand why it has so much stuff on it, so we need to look at that. And also download more music from Artlist, and download shows onto my external hard drive, so I make sure I have lots of stuff that I can watch. Um, and then I'm going to bring the labels to work to cut on the paper guillotine, whatever it's actually called, I'm just gonna call it paper guillotine. Thursday, I am off fortunately, so I can do a lot more packing that day, and it's going to be shopping day for food. In exciting news, my mom gets a discount at work. The discount is double up until, I think, Saturday, so that'll be fantastic. So we're going to go get money off, lots of money off, which is great because buying groceries, buying everything. Like I'm going to try to get almost everything on Thursday, so then I don't have to worry about it. Friday is a day dedicated to YouTube and vlog and all that stuff. If I'm not caught up by then, I'm going to spend the day getting caught up. I want to film because like I mentioned earlier, I want to make the summer kind of more about like what it's like to work remotely and that kind of stuff. So I want to film like a sit down with like how I ended up where I am. It's my fourth year, blah, 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 past remote jobs, etc. So I want to do all that, but I also work that day. <laughs> and then Saturday, Sunday, don't have anything planned yet. Probably be repacking because I know me. <laughs> and then I, at some point I want to film what I pack for two months away. Just so like if somebody's in a similar situation, they can maybe look at that and go, okay. But yeah, so I'm starting to get stressed because I usually pack, like start packing like a month before. Like and mid to end of May, I usually start packing and it is, we're like 10 days out. <laughs> I'm also going to email my boss to confirm out day and also say, can I come out early? Cause I just, I, want, I don't want to be in town anymore. <laughs> so we will see, hopefully. Cause he said I came out on the 25th last year, but I found vlog footage that said I came out on the 24th. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna go. I'm super stressed and amped up and it's a nice brisk 26 degrees in my room. So should be able to get to sleep quickly, but I do have to work tomorrow. In good news though, I think it's gonna be a relatively chill day. I mean, they kind of all are, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too crazy, which is nice, but I'm gonna go now, <laughs> and I will see you in the next vlog for a continuation of the panicking and freaking out, because I'm sure, I am sure that's exactly what's gonna happen. Aww.